is your name? My name is Roman Borisov. How old are you? I am 18 years old. Where do you come from? I come from Russia. At what age did you start playing the piano? I was three. Do you remember your first professional concert? Where was it? Uh, honestly, not really because I was only six. And uh, But I remember that it was in uh, our concerto. When was the first time you played a concert outside Russia? Uh, in French, in Festival Piano in Valois, in uh, 2015, so I was 12 years. Who or what inspired you to pursue a career in music? I think teacher, uh, my teacher and other musicians. What are your favorite composers? In different periods of my life, uh, I have, have different preferences. When I was younger, I saw Daniel Barenboi play it, uh, all Beethoven sonatas, and I really liked Beethoven and wanted to do the same. Uh, now, I think my favorite is uh, Rachmaninoff and Brahms. And I uh, recently started to interested in uh, more modern music, like the beginning of 20th century, Prokofiev, Shostakovich, and uh, now I really like impressionist, impressionist music. Yeah. Or what have been the most important influences on your musical life? I think it's my parents because uh, because they I started to practice and play the piano. And they are still very important for you in your yeah. for your musical life. Yeah. And what about your personal life? Parents too. And do you have friends so you can also? Go out with, with friends and... Yeah, of course, of course. Uh, we have some small company, group of friends. And we spend much time together. And are they musicians also? Yeah, yeah. Everybody are musicians. Could you let us know how you composed the program you performed yesterday evening? And how, in general, you make your repertoire choices? Uh, usually, if I don't have any special Others, I have time limit, like 16 minutes, for example. 60 minutes, for example. And uh, I do like this. Uh, I think with what piece I want to finish, because usually it's the most bright, uh, colorful. So yesterday I played uh, seventh Prokofiev sonata. Uh, then I decided the first piece. Yes, it was Bach, uh, Italian concerto. I think uh, it's better to begin from some more classical or Baroque uh, pieces <laughs> and then just add something in the middle. I think one rule is that program uh, has to be contrast, not monotonous, yeah. Is it your first concert in Switzerland? Uh, it's, it's my first recital concert I, I've played uh, in Verbier Academy and uh, I have small uh, performance in uh, Davos uh, Economic Forum. Uh, yesterday was my first recital in Switzerland. And you will, I think that you will come this summer again to, to Europe, to Switzerland? And to I hope to. <laughs> uh, I have a recital in Gestadt, München Festival and Verbier Festival and I hope nothing will, nothing will interrupt uh, my performance. Uh, which performance are you the most proud of and why? I am really proud of 
performance uh, Brahms piano concerto with Vladimir Spivakov because uh, I I played with him uh, Mozart twenty uh, third piano concerto and uh, we asked the director of orchestra maybe it's possible to play Brahms piano concerto and he said no because uh, maestro maestro is sure that. Uh, you can play first and second Brahms piano concerto only after 40 years old, but uh, I won Kranich piano competition and had the opportunity to play with him on gala concert and then we played uh, on his festivals and I hope I will play the second piano concerto in this summer in Colmar. When and where is your next concert? Uh, I have a uh, concert in a month in um, Russia, but uh, really serious in uh, July in Kalmar, Schloss Mavo, Gestadt Verbier and Schleswig Holstein. So you live in Novosibirsk and are the concerts with audience allowed in Novosibirsk now? Yeah, uh, it's 100% uh, of audience allowed which is different from Switzerland and yeah. all other European countries. Quite. And uh, what is different in playing in your country, in Russia and uh, here? Uh, the biggest difference in audience, like uh, I think in Russia and in Europe, a bit different taste in music maybe. I think that uh, in Russia people more like for example, Prokofiev, Rachmaninov here, I more often hear um, uh, Bach, Mozart, Beethoven. I think this is the biggest difference, but uh, in general, I don't think that something extremely contrastly, dramatic, dramatically contrast. What is the dream theater or venue where you would like to perform one day and why? <laughs> but but uh, now I I hope I will. I think all musicians wish to play, for example, in uh, Concert Gibao, Royal Alberts Hall, Carnegie Hall, some. So, what is the most important challenge of your career so far? Uh, I want to win Elizabeth Queen Elizabeth uh, competition. What do you like in the classic showroom? I really like the atmosphere of this nature, beautiful landscapes. I really like it <laughs> too. Uh, and uh, I think it's really comfortable to play in this showroom, like uh, home atmosphere. There was a very uh, few people in the, in the audience and yeah. uh, the concert was recorded and streamed but uh, you felt you really played for the audience or for the camera or both? Uh, honestly, uh, before the concert, I uh, talked to people who played uh, to online concert. And they told me that it's really different uh, experience and uh, really not really uh, convenient, uh, but I didn't feel uh, any differences really. Maybe because we have some audience, but uh, I can't say that I played only for there or only for cameras. So the fact of having an audience here in presence helped. You feel that it helped if you, if you only had a, a camera, would have been more difficult. I don't think so. I think uh, it doesn't matter okay. because. Uh, I know that somebody watched even okay. online. Okay. What do you think about the Classic Link platform as an opportunity to stay connected with audience, with colleagues through the world, despite the geographical distance? As I said before, I think that uh, it's some unique idea to make this social network for me only for classical musicians. Uh, and I, of course, really like it because uh, as a young musician, I can say that it's not really easy to find uh, 
some opportunities and uh, new meetings and uh, this platform I think uh, the biggest now the biggest uh, project in the world to to make them like uh, agent agents uh, some professional musicians know that uh, there there is classic and there are many uh, young musicians they if they want to find somebody they can open and check uh, and connect to them and uh, over uh, over more moreover <laughs> Um, uh, you can just uh, like in Facebook see some news from music world. So I think it's a great idea and great uh, result. You are going to perform this summer in famous European festivals, Verbier, Eichstatt, Colmar, Schloss Elmar, Schleswig-Holstein. Could you tell us how did you obtain those engagements? Uh, Playing in Verbier is a result of participating in a grand piano competition and the Verbier Academy. Uh, and uh, I, I was invited to play in festival. In Colmar, I uh, have a bit different story. I uh, played in Krajnev <laughs> piano competition and uh, there I, I, I won my group and uh, I had a concert with Vladimir Spivakov and after uh, these uh, concerts he invited me to play with him in Kolmar. For the rest, uh, festivals and uh, halls, I uh, want to say thank you to Sonia Siminau because she, she made this concert for me. What do you most look forward to participate in these festivals? What motivates you? Uh, I'm looking forward, of course, playing on such uh, important and famous stages and uh, I really hope that I will meet new people, meet new friends and uh, travel, have a new experience, new uh, emotions, yeah. How does your usual day look like? Not, nothing unusual really. I, uh, if it's a uh, holiday, I uh, get up, practice, uh, and in the evening I can meet my friends or watch some movie, read. Because you go to school, you're still going? Unfortunately. <laughs> what do you do in your free time? When you don't practice, what are your hobbies? Uh, again, I, I don't have any extraordinary uh, uh, hobbies. Just uh, friends, books, movies, and uh, I like football. I watch and play uh, often. What is your definition of success and of happiness? I think... Uh, I can say the popular phrase, but I think it's true that if you do what you like and if you do it well and if uh, people around you like it, I think it is uh, happy, happiness. What is your present state of mind? After concert I feel really happy and free and uh, I will now prepare a new program. Thank you.